Molasses Industries. Powerful Electronics. Introduction to CMOS Integrated Circuits Part 1. The CD4049. From preamp to in Zenu fuzz. Okay, for this, I'm gonna use a piece of perf board. Perf board is uh, just a bunch of holes with copper pads for each hole. Nothing's connected automatically. That's in contrast with this, which is strip board, where each strip is connected with copper. We're gonna use this because it's easier to tell what's going on. The IC we're gonna use is the CD4049. It's great for anything where you have a something quiet and you need it to be louder. It's uh, good for that. So the first thing we're gonna do is just put it here. Easy, we're done. If you're looking at the data sheet here, um, you're gonna see that the power, voltage plus and voltage minus are here and here respectively. That is very different from almost every other CMOS 4000 series IC, which usually has their IC, uh, power in here and ground here. So I guess the first thing you wanna do is get your power set up. So um, we're gonna use a blue wire and put it to negative. See on the bottom here? Give it a go, and these need to be connected. So, so what I did there is a little solder bridge. We'll bridge the two. The power, like so. We want to add an input and an output. If you're looking at the data sheet, the parts of this IC we're going to be using, the inputs are are to the right side and the outputs are the next one over. So in, out, in, out, in, out. So it makes more sense to put our input wire on this side. All right, in, out, great. And if you want to label these with a marker, that might be smart. So we're gonna to need to connect the input to the first inverter here. Um, and to do that, we need a input capacitor. We're gonna put it there. And remember, nothing is connected by default with perf board. So you need these leads to be bent over to touch the pins that you want them to touch. And then you solder that connection. There's gonna be a schematic of this. Yeah, That's, that'll do it. We will have our next capacitor or output capacitor going from the output of the third inverter the f going jumping over to the output so then while we're in capacitor mode we shall be jumping from this pin to this pin so that's pin one two three skip over four five and then to six you definitely make sure that all the pins are connected to what they need to be connected to and there's nothing, no solder bridges between anything. I do this with a little X-Acto knife. I just run the knife through and if there's anything there, I just cut. And once you've got smooth motion between, just kind of blow it out. And do this before you plug it in for the first time because otherwise, you don't know what is going to happen. Do a quick aside uh, into resistor land. The amplifier we are building is roughly speaking called a negative feedback amplifier. This means that there is a feedback path from the output of the inverter to the input. The value of the resistor that we add from output to input determines the gain of the amplifier. Higher resistance equals higher gain. Lower resistance will equal lower gain. These are digital logic inverters, but by adding a feedback component, a negative feedback component, we're converting them into roughly linear amplifiers. Dirty, super dirty, everything's dirty. Uh, so for this second inverter, we're gonna use 100K. 
And then for the other one, we are going to be using a potentiometer to be able to change the gain. Across this inverter, we are going to be putting a potentiometer with the 1M total resistance. Attach them to the middle and the right uh, on the middle and the right. Doesn't matter which is which. All right, so what I have set up for the demonstration of it is uh, I'm using a piezo disc because this is what I find myself using this circuit the most for is to amplify really quiet shitty annoying signals um, in a very easy and compact way and as you can see you have the uh, positive from the piezo hooked up to the input of the circuit output of the circuits going to the amp I have the ground and power connection by power supply at 9 volts and by adjusting the gain we can make it even quieter or even louder. Just to show you, turn the power supply up. That's, that's with, that's how low it is without this circuit involved, right? So that's directly to the amp. Power back on. It's really loud. All right, finally, last thing. Just for purpose of demonstration, what I did was I changed out the 100K resistor with a 2M potentiometer, allowing us to get 20 times the gain, I think. And so if I turn it up, turn up the gain, uh, it is feeding back because Right, it's, it's, <laughs> it's feeding back because this signal is so hot. So uh, if you were to plug a guitar into this, this would be a fuzz pedal, uh, without a doubt. This would be approaching square wave fuzz. Uh, if I had a guitar, I'd show you. But um, there's some gonna be some other things that I didn't include that uh, are on the sheet or the document I'm gonna make. Other than that, happy building. Molasses Industries. Powerful electronics.